Despite more than 20 years of innovation in design, materials and polymers of drug-eluting stents, persistent events continue to occur after the first year. Permanent caging of the vessel and loss of vessel motion and function could be partly responsible for these events. Bioresorbable scaffolds may eliminate permanent caging, but have not yet provided convincing results in well-powered head-to-head randomized clinical trials versus drug-eluting stints. The Dynamics Bioadapter Scaffold features a thin metallic platform and elutes serolimus over three months. Its polymer base coat resorbs over six months to unlock the scaffold circumferentially along three uncaging elements in each ring. Following neo-intimal formation and healing, Unlocked helical strands continue to provide dynamic scaffolding. In a randomized, international, open-label trial, 445 patients undergoing PCI, mostly with chronic coronary syndromes, received the Dynamex Bioadapter or Resolute Onyx devices. At 12 months, the rates of target lesion failure were 1.8% with a Dynamex Bioadapter and 2.8% with the Resolute Onyx, meeting criteria for non-inferiority. Serial intravascular ultrasound analysis showed restoration of pulsatility at 12 months with a Dynamics Bioadapter scaffold, but not with a Resolute Onyx stent. The late luminal loss was lower with a Dynamics Bioadapter scaffold, 0.09 versus 0.25 mm. Intracoronary imaging data demonstrated larger plaque stabilization or regression with a Dynamics Bioadapter, a finding that warrants more investigation.